Hi friends, this is Ryan and I'm the developer of AutoPad. I want to show you probably the most exciting new feature in the iOS version 1.8. You're now able to load AutoPad as an audio unit extension into audio unit hosts. I'm using AUM right now, but uh, AudioBus and many other audio unit hosts work as well. So let's load it on up. One thing to point out is that there's a few things you can't do in the audio unit, such as view the store or import sounds. You're going to need to do those in the app, but it's important to point out that everything that you have in the app is going to be in the audio unit as well. In setless mode, you're not going to be able to airdrop your setless, but you do have your library available to you. We also have the option to sync our click to the host. So you'll notice if I have this follow host um, option checked, if I change the tempo in the host, that's going to change the tempo in AutoPad as well. Very, very cool. You don't have to have that enabled though. And I should note, in that case, the trying to change a tempo in AutoPad is going to have no effect because the host will, will control the tempo. So let's play a pad and uh, play some piano. That actually went better than I was expecting for playing on those um, small on-screen keys. There's a lot of really cool options that are available to you. You notice you have the low pass filter right here, easy to access. You can easily route MIDI keyboards and apps to AutoPad. You have control over AutoPad's various parameters. We can MIDI map knobs and apps and controls directly to those things. So it really gives you tons of control, which is very exciting. And it took a lot of work to move AutoPad over to being an audio unit, but I think it's gonna be worth it. And I hope you guys check this feature out. And thanks so much for the support for using AutoPad and sharing it with your friends. Looking forward to hearing you guys use it and getting your feedback. Thanks.